going to uh, demonstrate the concept of push-pull in uh, painting and when artists use that term they're referring to making things advance or recede into the pictorial space. And there are five specific ways to cause that to happen. Uh, the first is very obvious in this, in that the use of perspective uh, fools the eye into believing that a two-dimensional surface is three-dimensional. Uh, so these converging lines going back to a vanishing point, which is up about here, uh, create the illusion of space. So perspective is something to understand if you want to create very effective space in your paintings. Uh, the second uh, principle is to overlap things. Now what I haven't done in this to save time is I haven't overlapped the forms. However the forms overlap the pattern on the uh, surface here and they also overlap the background. If they didn't overlap the background, there would not be as much space. So perspective and overlapping, those are kind of obvious ways that we create space in painting. And the last three are much more subtle. And the first that I want to address is temperature distance, excuse me, temperature differences in color. Now, to make this more obvious, I painted these three forms with the same color. It's Indian red. Now, we all, you know, we know, know the term Purple Mountain's Majesty. Uh, of course, when we look out at a landscape, we see that distant mountains, for example, do have a bluish cast to them, and it's because of the atmosphere. The color of the atmosphere is blue, which is why the sky is blue. And by cooling something down and adding that cerulean blue, I make it seem further away, just like mountains in a landscape. So I've got warm, neutral, and cool forms now. So perspective overlapping temperature differences. Now a fourth one is saturation. Uh, in this case, we're talking about adding gray to a color in order to make it go back. So if I mix up some neutral gray here, I don't think you can see my palette because I wanted you to see this. But I'm mixing some neutral gray and I'm mixing that with the Indian red. And uh, I'm going to add that to this one. 
So there is a, just a slight amount of gray, neutral gray added to this. And that desaturates the color. Now the one in the most distant, I've already added the blue there, so I'm not going to add too much, but I am going to gray down anywhere I see full saturation. I'm getting rid of that with a little bit of grayed down Indian red, and I'll redo the highlight here with a very grayed down. And that leads us to the fifth, which is sharpness versus blurriness. Now, in this case, that is too sharp, so I'm just taking some medium, and I'm going to blur that. And on the other side, I'm going to sharpen up the highlight. on the one I want to seem closest. In fact, I'm going to put a real nice pure white highlight right there. I'll dry out the brush and just go from that and just drag that from side to side. I'll go back and, and that gives me a real sense of a nice crisp highlight there. We'll put a white dot in that also. So what I've demonstrated here, now I'm going to, one other thing I'll do here. Uh, the back, the edges of this, let's soften those as well. So, these, uh, these shapes have much more space in them now by using the principles of push-pull and our five ways of creating space in painting.